Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the <coughs> Weekly Plug-In. We are FN Gaming. Plug -in. I'm Cinema Drew. I'm Jelly Hubie. I'm Psycho C. And remember that if you are watching us here live on Twitch, we also have this on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash FN Gaming. And you can always join us live here at Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Avid Gaming. If you want to interact with us, we like that too. But uh, if you watch us on YouTube and you like it, hit that like and comment. Hit that like button. Yeah, if you're watching on if you're watching on YouTube, hit the like button, share, comment. We need some more interaction, man. We're not getting enough. The only thing we get is that dude that keeps sending us stuff for movie pics. Is he still doing that? It's weird because it shows it shows like on the bell the notifications. Yeah. And there and then I, I go to click on the video and it's not there. So I don't know if he if it kicks them off or if he puts it on there and I don't know. But I like to have some human. I haven't seen it. Are you deleting them before I see them or something? Well, I've only deleted that first one, the first time they he did it. Really? Or they did it. Probably spam. But, Boobies? Yeah. Mommy milkers? Yeah. The big mummy milkers. So today we have, of course, our Thirsty Thursday. In our first round, uh, we I pulled this uh, linen. <laughs> stop, stop to fast, say it. Uh, it's a summer shandy. It's lemonade beer, basically. Lemon, lemon, lemonade. Lemonade good. beer. I think I liked yours the best. I did too. Because this I'm one, too. Alaskan, uh, Alaskan uh, Brewing Co. Amber tasted like poo poo, but I downed it because I'm a real man. Mine is made by That's... Little Jacob Lennon Google. I had Springbok. That was actually not that bad. I need to label uh, uh, Saint Arnold Springbok. Bok, bok. All right, who's going next? I went first. I guess I can. I guess my, my... You ready? Uh, yeah. Here we go. Bill of morality. Uh, turn, turn, completely turn. So random. So yeah, these are all these are all random. I used I used yeah. the wheel. Completely random via the wheel, and also my picks were completely random. I had choice. You know, Sace. You got two, I got two on bottles, bottles but Boot oh. <laughs> it's like what you Why did you scream? <laughs> What's that one? I thought it was gonna be a... Uh... It's fun. Fun. It is fun high tide. Ale brewed with passion fruit and spices. That might actually be good. Either barrels. Damn, that's gonna be big. What's the uh the alcohol by Carbach bottle? Brewing Company? What's the alcohol? It's pretty cool looking. Uh, did I say sixteen percent? Seven point two. Okay. Oh, I, whoa! It's like you better give I mean, me that. Texas. I've been a lot of Texas beers lately. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I buy it at H E B. So oh, that's good. That's good. And I got the number five. Which leaves you with the number four. I don't know what it is. Don't drop it. This is number five. Spindle Top Brewery Copper Chopper. Amber Ale. I might actually like this. That's a cool looking can. Uh, what? An Amber Ale? Amber, amber ale. ale. What's yours? Mine is uh, Ale Brewed by Passion Fruit Spices. Oh, ale. you want me to spin it anyway? Yeah, you got to spin it anyway. It's what? Still good, it's still good to spin. Watch it land on that line. <laughs> Four! Oh. I got... <laughs> Hellgator. Hellgator. A revelrous American blonde ale. I think mine's the most I interesting. I'm, I'm gonna... I, I might He's agree with that. This, barrels. That's this one's cool. out of Houston. I like my... I like my uh, can. That's pretty legit. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Wait, some of the cameras... Oh, guys, celebrate! It's a 5.3 alcohol by volume. I got 4 to 8. What'd you say yours was? 7, 7, one? Two. seven. Ooh. And you got 16 ounces. I got what does fun stand for? It's TV's number 18. <laughs> Something popped in my mind. It's right. not appropriate. It's not a pop top. It's not a pop top? Uh oh. Pop a top. Wait, it's not a pop top? Oh, no. I mean, I mean, it is, is a pop top. top. It's not a, a screwy. You didn't get a hard edge table here, so I just no. Why? Yeah. Don't you turn shit up? What the table's for? It doesn't smell. Maybe I'm just not smelling. It didn't smell very appealing. Mine doesn't smell very. Mine, mine smells like popcorn for some. Okay. Very light. 
Whoa. Oh. Oh, it's got like a like a real fruity. Yeah, it's like a, a yeah, like a fruit. like a berry-ish. Yeah. Oh. Passion fruit's good. Have y'all ever had passion fruit? No. Once. Pretty good. Nope. What was yeah. that big was that, that what that was? That big weird looking? The one that we had, I think. What was that? Look at this. Unemployed loser. He's not unemployed. Nice. He's got a job. Well, did he yeah. start his job already? Didn't you start your job already? No, he starts it. When do you start your new job, you loser? We're going to send this to you. We we got two. I got three. Just three, for you. Three pizza beers. We're dropping them off at your house. I know your address. I don't I've know your address, but I know where you live. I don't, I don't know where you live. I've, I've been there. I could I could show up. We I know what you and your wife drive. McGregor Connor fight. McGregor Connor McGregor, fight. Uh, no, uh, was it Conor McGregor and uh... ended up just watching Ian and his girlfriend fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this. All right. All right, this is on. This is the fun high tide. Fun. Well, it's almost like champagne. Yeah, it's not bad. That's weird. I got the good end of both of these. That aftertaste. And very champagne-y. Yeah. Whew. That's weird. I like that. That's, I don't know. I just want to buy... What's the yes or no? This is what pumped up. Big yes or no. Do I like it? Spin the... <laughs> yes? No? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, boys. I did not like it. I did like it. I did like it. That's it. not bad. It's like I said. That's almost like a champagne. Yeah. They brewed in a tequila bottle, a little bit tequila barrel, aged in a tequila that's barrel. Look at that. What is this? Copper chopper? Chopper copper? copper? Let's go. Chop copper chopper. It's an am- amber ale. Yeah. Oh, that's what my no. I had a box last time. That has a vanilla smell to it. Yeah. That's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. I'm kind of hoping yours has some grapey flavor. Grapey, just grapey. the purple. The little purple dude. Do you know I mean about the smell? Yes. Yes, I do. I don't like the smell of it. I don't I don't like the smell of it. Can I smell? Can I have a smell? <laughs> <laughs> smells like piss. <laughs> it's covering my horse. <laughs> I don't. I'm afraid to try it now. Bombs up. That's a, a little weird. Yeah, no, a weird aftertaste. But very. It's super, I do think I got the better. Super the light though. though. Yeah. Like there's almost not an aftertaste. It's yeah. almost like a like a. You're grounded. I'm kind of what? That aftertaste is terrible. What? Oh, it's not bad. Hey, Bert, hand me a uh, Rita. Hand me two Ritas because Jake's out. Jacobo is out. He's out of his Rita. Jake's out of a Rita, too. Dude, I, I, I was watching uh, the old uh, <laughs> Pockies the other day. Little Pickies. Pickety McTalks. Oh, yeah. And, oh, uh, those. Who's this ugly Scottish girl? Uh, she wasn't ugly, per se. Like ugly personality wise? No, 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 no. Like she, uh, she just wasn't like. She wasn't ugly. Okay, she didn't look like a regular TikTok. She was girl, average, if that. Yeah. She pushing it maybe a little below average, <laughs> but her accent like just pushed oh, her yeah. up there. Accent couldn't understand of. Have you seen the video of that redhead word she was saying? Oh, the redhead girl that it beats, beats up, up the dummy. dummy. I love her. Oh God, I would date her. Just to let she's scared. Yeah, yeah. No, dude. For some she... reason, that's that's. I don't know why that's kind of a turn on. That girl is frightening. And see, it's always those a Christmas tree. Like, what, what, how, you just keep the Christmas tree to throw <laughs> out the dummy. What's with the Christmas tree, girl? <laughs> yeah, she's she's a little scary. Yeah, I like that chick. <laughs> crazy, the crazy bitch I've always been waiting for. No, I don't need no more. That's fine. She's not, I mean, like nothing. I don't oh, know, yeah, like, not bad. Looking at, like, no, twice, she's... but 
Yeah. It does have a weird aftertaste. Reach. Yeah, that's what we reach. Beat network. A boot in the hair. It's like this one. <laughs> what? I like have, have you seen that, that woman? I think it's a YouTube where she tries to talk to uh Like I don't get it. It's uh, she's so mean. Just do it. Oh, wow. yeah. I don't want to it's, I don't know, just, I don't want, I'm weird, but they kind of, come turn on. <laughs> the chicken can kick my ass, I don't know, that's just kind of, that's a turn on. I mean, that is a dummy. She's so scary. Did <laughs> <laughs> she just bite him? Here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, can't do it. Unless you fart on it, that's weird. <laughs> the karate chops in the neck. Yeah. I can't oh. do it. She gets in there deep. I would date her. She did. She got in there deep. <laughs> like that dummy has pink eye now. Yeah. That was actually what this guy was saying. Dummy got pink eye now. Oh my god. Why would you do that? No, for real. Listen, why would you do that? No, get off me. Get up. I can't deal with you, man. You play too much. I was cool with everything until you dookie food in my mouth. No, you don't. Hand slap. Yeah. Then the kick and the fall over and fart in the face. <laughs> can't do it. I don't know about that. Yeah, the bite in the ear. I was like, ah. She's vicious. Like, I get playfully yeah, aggressive. I don't mind. But it's I think at that point, I, I would. would uh... I, I, no, I don't have the patience for that. I, Imagine I, coming home from work, waiting, you know, when that, that's, that's inside your house or something on you. And like, you open the door and you can't, you don't see her, you're like, oh. That's Chris, <laughs> that's Chris Brown waiting to happen. I, I'm telling you right now. I woke up a girl Chris spits in her thing. hand and smacks me, I'm going to punch her right in the jaw. <laughs> I hope my wife isn't watching this. I'm just saying, if you spit in your hand and slap me, I'm going to punch you in the mouth. That's like a whole new level, like, crossed line. Yeah. <laughs> like okay like I, i'll tell you right now my wife punched me in the chest one time uh -huh. like hard. hard like she gave me a right hook right in the chest oh, yeah. and i my natural my personal my natural instinct is when i am struck like that i'm gonna punch somebody back i didn't did not hit my wife <laughs> but i thought about it <laughs> to be clear <laughs> to be clear i did not punch my wife in to the be chest. clear i thought about it for a second, for a split second, I thought I was in my reflex. I, uh, but no, I didn't. I didn't do it. I stopped. I looked at her. I was like, why would you do that? She's like, I don't know. I thought it'd be funny. And I was like, that's it's not, not funny. funny at all. I can get close. Yeah, I don't you're, know. You're, you're, push, you're pushing the limit. And then later, I put a pillow on her head and I punched it. <laughs> Isn't that still? No. no. Go give me a pillow. It's good. Tell me how much it hurts. It's still going to hurt. It is going to hurt, but not as much. It won't leave a mark. <laughs> well, you just put oranges in a bag, and then you, or you hit them in the bottom of the feet. Yeah, I've heard that one too. Yeah. And beat them with a bag of oranges. Yeah, because it doesn't look yeah. any bruises. Either the, either the bottom of your feet don't bruise either. Yeah, I think you hit them with books you know? too. Do you know that? Hit them with books. Don't take notes, kids. <laughs> <laughs> we are not, not okay. <laughs> we are not not from personal. Still it, not it, it's a good like idea to do. But if you have to defend yourself. I did someone who's tied right. in a chair. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get going. I'll, I'll start. Okay, so this comes from Game Rant. And as you remember, a few weeks ago, we announced, I, we announced that the Mario 35th anniversary was about to come to an end. And it comes to an end. That's a win, bro. Nice. We probably shouldn't. When does it go into, should, go into effect? It when does it go into effect? We should still. Should still when does it go we'll, into effect? We'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. But, but when no does it go into effect? It. But when does it go into effect? <clears throat> well, I'll read and I'll tell you. Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, as you remember, we talked about the Mario 35th anniversary coming to an end uh, on the 31st. That's March. I bought it. Oh, did you? Yeah, nice. so we can play it. You do or you don't? <laughs> I'm, I'm iffy. And at the end of it, 
there is the Mario. They they were deleting the Mario 3D All Stars, which is Mario 64, Mario Galaxies, Mario Sunshine, and Mario Sunshine. And after that, you can no longer get those, or at least the, not for a long. That time was until they read. yesterday. As of yesterday, it's gone. Thirty first. Today's the first. Today's April Fool's Day. Yep, yep, it's gone. Can't get it no more. As of yesterday, it's gone. So apparently, some people are upset about it, calling it the death of Mario. The day Mario dies. Yeah, Mario uh, died yesterday. And as I've heard a result, about that. there is a hashtag uh, to change. Uh, Just go to the Nintendo's. store and buy it. Well, I mean, there's a hashtag to change Nintendo's mascot to Kirby. Uh, so yeah. So they, uh, this is kind of a mean, kind of a joke, but I'm sure some people are going to take it seriously. And if they get taken too, you know, who knows? But <clears throat> there's a hashtag going around that's uh, called hashtag Kirby Nintendo mascot to try to replace Mario after the death of Mario after the 35th anniversary is over, which was yesterday. So who knows? Uh, there's some other choices considered. Link was an obvious choice. Uh, Samus uh, from Metroid Prime, which I don't really know why that was a choice, because when was the last Metroid? Did you say Samus? He said Samus. <laughs> Samus? Samus. What's that, Samus? You said Samus. 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 Huh. I said Samus. Samus. How dare you? Back! Back, you vile creature! <laughs> anyway, the same as from Metroid Prime. <laughs> but I don't know why that was just actually. I remember the last Metroid cut. Prime game was a like Nintendo GameCube, I think, was the yeah, last but, Metroid game. I think game. it's because, yeah, but. No. But the thing is, it was we, Samus is a we. pretty notable yeah, it is. Nintendo character. But it's not a franchise she, that they've really she, followed yeah, through. But it, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, still, it's still. She's still up there. Yeah. Uh, and but they eventually went with Kirby because uh, Kirby is more kid friendly and can be made into a huggable plushie. So could uh, Samus. You, yeah, you can make Samus into a plushie. I mean, people probably that would be weird. Right <laughs> you can tell that some dudes would take abuse of that. They're the Samus plushie. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, I mean, same as a sock. <laughs> that's a that's a big old gal too. Yeah, without her armor, she's like six three. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, uh, fans took to Twitter to show Kirby behind Mario with an axe, uh, saying that Mario is dead, and some of them had the Mario plushie and the Kirby plushie facing off against each other. Uh, and that the Kirby is the new king and face of Nintendo. Uh, Mario, Mario isn't dead. Yeah, no, it's literally just an anniversary. They stopped celebrating. It was celebrated as an anniversary for an entire year. I mean, that was almost. yeah. So I mean, Mario made you mean for Kirby with the same thing. When was the last time like a really they really got behind the Kirby franchise? I mean, I know the game was released in 2018, I think. Uh, Star something. Uh, but I mean Mario's been around since the beginning you can't replace Mario he's literally changed the face of gaming history forever I mean you had Mario was there I mean he was there first in Donkey Kong which is one of the first <laughs> Nintendo games and arcade games yeah I want yeah. that plushie <laughs> uh, then he had Super, uh, then there was Mario Brothers where they were inside the sewers and had to face off against the little turtles. Uh, that's where the plumber thing came from. And then the Super Mario Brothers, and that's when it changed everything. That that Most people's first memory of playing video games was Super Mario Brothers on Nintendo. I mean, I had Atari 2600, but Nintendo, like the first thing I remember playing on Nintendo was Super Mario Brothers. And Duck Hunt. And then Track and Field, because it came in a bundle. <laughs> But it was always Super Mario's. Mine was my first one. Uh, my, my first game that made a huge impact on me was 
Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, my main one, Super Mario Bros. is one of my earliest Nintendo. Of course, I always played it side bike, which was awesome. I also played, uh, uh, I remember I playing Who Framed Roger Rabbit a lot, which was awesome. And, uh, I played this one. Smurfs. I don't, I don't remember the Smurfs. It was on, uh, and Paperboy. Paperboy was huge. That was so much fun. <clears throat> yeah, so it was mostly just a joke, but who knows? These things sometimes can create a life of their own. And uh, so there may be a huge uh, push to have Kirby be the mascot. I don't think Nintendo will do it, but who knows? Anyways, that's just a little something, some fun for a fun idea. Okay, that's all I got on that one. Just wanted to mention that. All right. Through my thing. <laughs> Just randomly found just now. I'm scrolling through this. Is it finally YouTubers can swear without reaching demonetization? Hold How on. How far can it go? Hold on. I'm sure they have do have a limit. So used to you can say hell, damn, shit, bitch, or the F word in the first 30 seconds of a video, as well as frequent, you know, strong profanity in there with the F word. Or even censored really. Because it would pick up on the beeps or the dolphin sound, whatever people were using. Yeah. So in recent events, what's been going on in the world, they've changed it to allow profanity, um, documentary stuff, news content um, that includes any kind of uh, violent interactions or, or violent interactions with law enforcement, controversial issues, or non-graphic objective discussions of controversial issues are in the video. And... Uh, Creators will also be able to monetize more videos that will that are more um, adult themed. Oh, I'm sure to, that also has a lot to go with who's wanting to monetize it too. Like if one's going to advertise, right? They still got to kind of watch a little bit, right? But you have a little bit more leeway. It's not only going to be claimed by YouTube, but it may be, you know, yeah, somebody that might, might not want to sponsor with you. I'm glad they're kind of letting up though. Because Same. I mean, really, like I, I had a teacher that taught at the high school here. And she's like, if I send one of my students to the principal's office for saying the f word, like they would send them back and write me a note, like, what, what are you doing? What, what's my time for? Because yeah, I would literally have to send every one of my students down there one at a time if if I send them saying the f word back when I was in cool Don't school. Say it. Like you could say anything. <clears throat> I would get in trouble sometimes for saying the word, but. I said hell one time and I got sent to the principal. Really? I called the girl a bitch and got ISS for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I said hell and I got sent to. I remember I was like in kindergarten and first grade. I got in trouble for saying the word butt. My butt hurts. What? I said what the hell. Oh, really? And a teacher caught me and was like, ah, go, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, what the hell's the place? <laughs> Our coaches used to make us run if we cussed. Our coaches used to cuss at us. Yeah, right. Our coaches didn't care. We, could, we could do whatever we wanted on the, on the field. Dude, ours did. We said, yeah, yeah. Ours were, if, we, if we get caught, we get, we'd have to run Dude, if we used to, if we, when we played football, if we had like some kind of spat on the field, they would give us boxing gloves in the middle. Oh, uh, really? We'd play Blood Alley's. Yeah, we would. If we had any problems with another player or another, like another friend or somebody, we would literally pull the the mat into the locker room because our locker rooms were freaking massive, and we would fight on the mat, like <laughs> full on fisticuff. No, no, no. It was just no boxing gloves and full on fisticuffs. It was either boxing gloves or Oklahoma. It's Oklahoma. Oklahoma drill. We both lay on your back, pull the whistle, get up. Ah, uh, I didn't know it was called Oklahoma. That's kind of what Blood Alley was, but it was different football. We literally just lined up. Hmm? We had a different name for it. I can't say it. It's, it's, no. Still can't say it. Still can't say it. <laughs> it's not appropriate. Yeah, we good. It's good. Anyway, so based on creator and advertiser input, we've updated the guidelines to allow more content to be eligible for full monetization while containing them. While continuing to maintain advertiser industry standards, YouTube said in a, pol- in a policy update on Tuesday. I still don't know. These changes come to the U.S. Uh, <laughs> these changes come as the U.S. continues to grapple with sensitive issues like police brutality, drug yeah. drug legalization, uh, both of which may have pushed like aspects. Language is the last, I mean. 
You can close. The last, who cares? I mean, there's so much worse going on in the world than somebody saying exactly the F word. Fuck. <laughs> oh, oh. I couldn't hold it in any longer. Wasn't there a South Park episode oh, where they said like, it like 30 something times on? Yeah, on, no, it was, a, it was like a season one or two. So basically, they had a ticker, they had a ticker and everything. A network, you can only say so many they have so many times a season. So they used it all up in one episode. And then the rest of the season, they didn't say it. Shit. You can't really? show me that headline and then expect me to not say <laughs> at least once. Because I've been good. Yeah, Fuck. Been good. I've been very Jake good. Has not been. Jake has not been. And I was even I, the one that said yeah, I've been we'll, very good. We'll still kind of keep it low. I've gotten we better. Literally, the name of the channel is Effin Gaming. Yeah, I know. That's what's funny about it. Yeah, but it's a play on words. So it's fuck. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so which what you got? Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk sucks. update. Cyberpunk sucks. Oh my gosh. Does that suck? It's a little bit less now. <laughs> Is it playable yet? <laughs> I don't know. I, ha- I still haven't played it. <laughs> I, can, um, I guess I could look. Like, I played it for six hours. I never really ran into really any issues. I keep thinking about... Um, I don't think it would buy that beer. Which one? The English or that one? one? Yeah. I definitely wouldn't buy this one again. That was gross. Like, it wouldn't buy it at first, but, like, as you drink, like... You, as you get to the bottom? That's a weird... That's, I, this, this aftertaste is... I can't down that one like I did that one. I, I was trying to. I tried. I got about this much left on it, and I'm just like, I, I really can't. Like, it's got that one... Like, you know when you drink a beer and you're just like... Afterwards, yeah, that's, that's how, what this is. That's all how that is. I'm like, anyways, Ooh, let me know. it hurts my so brain. I just down the rest of it. Um, so <laughs> I was laughing at him, but Cyberpunk, um, Cyberpunk released patch 1.2. <laughs> I don't have my headphones on. Do do all you want. Uh, Cyberpunk released patch one point two. Fired. Uh, they finally released patch one point two. They yeah. said they were going to re- release it before April. They released it Monday. <laughs> Literally, like just like two days before yeah. Monday. <laughs> I like that we have the TikTok of the girl beating the shit out. I of forgot the to actually add on. He's been out there. The I whole keep time. watching it. Like everyone's all just glancing at him, just biting him, or sitting on his face, or or scooping a, a dingleberry out and slapping Dude, him with it. That's a bit intense. It's a bit much. Anyway, <laughs> Cyberpunk released patch 1.2. Yeah. Or I'm sorry, CD Projekt Red released Cyberpunk patch 1.2, and it is humongous. I heard it's like... Uh... Check this out. I heard they released it. I don't Just know so you guys it. can see it. I tried to see... I don't know if I can show you on the screen because I don't know how well it works. These are the patch notes for Cyberpunk patch 1.2. Damn. I'm not even halfway yet. Look. Damn. Look. Still going. That's literally, yeah. Like, I don't know. If, okay, so I don't. So yeah, I go all the way to the top. Look at that. <laughs> and I'm now going to go so over every much. single change. In, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, we'll be here right. till tomorrow. Um, noticeable game pay, gameplay changes. Um, the. Um, the police don't respond immediately. It's not an instant thing. Um, the steering is different in the vehicles. Uh, they, That's good, because the steering in them, I remember, was terrible. They changed, they made it to where you have, like, I don't know, you guys remember in, um, I don't know which, I think it's one of the, it might be the newest GTA Five when uh-huh. you had an option, like, if you held uh, the stick to the side when you were flipped over, that you could flip the car back over. Oh, GTA? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You like they, turn the steering wheel. They did that. Way? Like if you got your car stuck, you could rotate a stick or something. that will unstick you. Um, uh, they, they revamped pretty much revamped the driving. Cause apparently people hated the driving. Yeah. It was um, not that good. <laughs> the, uh, collision detection is a lot better. Apparently, uh, they changed a lot of stuff, um, about the actual, uh, gameplay. Whereas like the character's abilities, um, they changed that. <clears throat> um, a, a bunch of driving. Uh, they changed some of the stealth stuff. Uh, cool down. I'm I'm literally just thumbing through this. Uh, 
NPCs are more reactive to things going on around them. <laughs> they don't move after you kill them. Oh, really? So, you know, they're not dead. Because like, <laughs> yeah. apparently I've seen a lot of that. Um, uh, fixed uh, more collision detection between NPCs. So NPCs would understand, like, hey, I'm going to get out of the way because this person's here. Yeah. <clears throat> um, let's see... Access points, um, yeah, NPC reactions, uh, your NPC helpers or whatever use stealth now. Uh, they fixed a bunch of quests that apparently were freezing and or not performing correctly. Um, I'm not going to go too far into that because I don't need to play the game. I don't know any of the quests, but there's, uh, most of this is quests. I did have a problem with quests. Uh, did it, tried to turn it in, had to restart the quest, then I go back and it's not there. Yeah, there's the a hole. Collisions, uh, destructibles will no longer become indestructible. Uh, fixed issue where NCPD hustles were not marked as finished. I don't know what that is. Uh, collecting the additional reward, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, people getting stuck. Fix that. NPCs will no longer stay blocked on traffic lanes while in fear. <laughs> um, various immersion improvements and fixes in the open world encounters and gigs. Cinematic design improvements. Camera issues. Issues that could block the player from using a ladder in a certain mission. Uh, they keep another character from walking on air. There's other episodes where the other things that where people would walk through the walls and stuff. What did you... Sorry, I got distracted. He's looking at mommy milkers. I'm not looking at mommy milkers. Giant I'm vampire. looking at the mommy milker lady from the village. Keep going. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got doing distracted. my research. Oh, look at that over here. I looked up. I looked up. I looked up and I saw mommy milkers. Uh, entertainment, environment, and levels. Entertainment. What? Um, objective no longer get stuck. Uh, v will no longer get stuck. Uh, fast travel points were missing map pins. Uh, wrong or missing contents of lootable items. Yeah, no, uh, fixing multiple issues where players get stuck in geometry. Graphics, studio, animation. NPCs moving after being killed. A visual visual, visual issue with fast travel. Um, <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. Uh, light sources for interiors and exteriors. Uh, adjusted quality. And, and I'm just, like I said, I'm just thumbing through it. That just a bunch of stuff. UI. Um... You can, yeah, edit things now. <laughs> Weeks. Like stability. Like a whole new game. Whole game yeah, now. pretty much. Uh, stability into performance. It sounds like I'm going to start over on it. But I'm going to wait until I get verification that it, um, but it is playable on the PlayStation 4. Uh, yeah. Uh, they have a bunch of, and there are a lot of PC specific um, fixes as well. Uh, apparently, they, they did a lot to the PC and they did a lot of console specific ones. Fixed additional PlayStation 4 where items couldn't be dropped. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Fixed a streaming issue with the elevator panel and play it safe on Xbox One. Yeah, just a lot of stuff. But yeah, um, so Cyberpunk is on the way to sucking <laughs> a little less <clears throat> with patch one. Might be a whole new game. One Imagine if they two. would have had all that fixed before they put it out. Yeah. Um, at 1.2 of many, but yeah, uh, they, they've been working on it, so hopefully another patch, and uh, like I said, they delayed the next-gen update, obviously, yeah, okay, because yeah. they're still trying to fix the current-gen. That, nobody has any next-gen calls, yeah. so, but yeah. Uh, waste that, of time. That's my thing. That's the only thing I had. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's, like, it's a big one. Yeah. So, but yeah, so Cyberpunk making its Making We're trying. A, uh, CD Projekt Red is making an effort to make Cyberpunk not suck as much. Hey, that's so stupid. Like, if you would just do all that stuff... You just fixed it the first time. Before you, you release it. Release it as and, a failure. And not, and not lie about it. Yeah. Release budget. it as a failure and then be like, hey, Dickens. we'll fix it along the way after nobody cares about it no more. Yeah, like, hold on. Hold on, hold on. We we screwed up. We'll fix it. We'll yeah, fix it. Yeah. Like, no, you've already screwed up. <laughs> You only have one chance to make a first impression. Yeah. 
But yeah, huh. I was gonna. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, next. Next. Here we go. I got Star Wars updates, and I've got a few of them. Oh. Or mix else? them in, or yeah, they... I got a few. Okay. So there's this there's this Olympian lady. She's a Russian Olympian. I can't say her name. Yekaterina Lysina. She did a cosplay of the uh, Lady Dimitrescu. Dimitrescu. Mommy milkers. So she did an amazing cosplay. Like, look at that. That looks perfect. Like, there's that one. This is from the game. There's that one. Difference. Uh, like her, and there's from the game. game. Yeah, like she looks. Her makeup looks amazing. She's a bodybuilder too. Did I do like? I did a pretty good job. But this girl is a bit thick. This oh, girl is six oh, nine. I've seen her on TikTok. Uh, this girl? She's just... Yes, she has a TikTok. Does she? Yes. That's why. Okay, I was like, she looked really tall there. I was like, that must be a good camera angle. No, she's just a she's giant. <laughs> That's a regular camera angle. She's That's almost a foot taller than I am. Is she am I the tallest TikTok? one out of the three of us? Probably. I'm six one. Okay, we're the same height. So, but yeah, but six foot nine. Well, she does have a TikTok. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I have seen her on yeah. TikTok. She always pairs up with like little short people. I mean, everybody's little short people. Stuff, but she's but. six nine. She holds world records for her legs, um, being the longest. I saw this earlier. I had to Olympic had to do history. it. What's she do in the Olympics. Basketball? She did yeah, basketball. That would make sense. <laughs> that's a stupid that's, I would, yeah, that that was was question. <laughs> for the woman I mean, having the longest here. legs for and for the tallest professional. I just think it'd be so cool to participate in the Olympics. Well, Drew, you're like a foot too short. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just I saw that and I wanted to share it. That, that was a really good. That was like that was spot amazing. on. Like yeah. her makeup looked amazing. What you doing there? What you yeah, doing? That was a. That, yeah, it was a couple of iPods. It looked a little. Uh, oh, that's uh, Outriders. Is that the game they all have last morning? Dude. That's pretty fun. Outriders is pretty fun. The crossplay right now is, is a little janky. Is it? Yeah, I read that a while ago. Outriders is fun, though. It's like. Uh, fun game. It's kind of like. Um, Destiny. A little bit like Destiny, a little Gearsy. It's fun. Well, it's about a bunch of bullet sponges, basically. That's the one you were telling me I should get. Yeah, it's really fun. And then if you don't have anything else until the Star Wars, yeah, I don't have anything you else. got anything else? I got, uh, I got stuff about like the movie stuff. What movie stuff? Like uh, Godzilla vs. Kong came out. Uh, we haven't watched it yet. It's apparently amazing. I'm we're not gonna, allowed to watch it. Yeah, though, we're watching it Sunday. These jerks. We're going to watch it this we'll weekend. We'll do a review on it. Me I mean, if you didn't have a job like the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, why didn't you have a job? How do you think I paid for HBO Max, dickhead? Uh, if, uh, yeah, me and Jake, you watched all the Kong and Godzilla movies today. I don't know how for that for HBO one. Max. I don't know either. He's, so, uh, he's but, genius. Uh, they delayed uh, Mortal Kombat a week. Did they? I, saw I didn't hear yeah. that. And I'm very mm-hmm. upset about that. I'm uh, not. Be, because it's I'm when telling they, you guys right now, I'm not waiting to watch Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I'm staying up till 2 in the morning to watch it. I'm What's sorry? that supposed to come out on? The 26th now. Is it going to come out on any kind of what streaming platform? HBO Max. But I'm not waiting. <laughs> like, you guys are going to be like, oh, you go wait. No, no. Like, I'll, I'll wait of, for Godzilla, but I'm not waiting. 26th for of May? No. April. Uh, I'm not waiting. I'll have furniture that day. We can watch it here together. Monday. That's a Monday. I'm sta- well, it comes out like 2 in the morning. So? So, 26th of Sunday. Tuesday. Don't be scared. I'm not staying here. No, 26 is a Monday. So stay here the yeah. entire night. I do. That's fine. Call in. Man, so you got I some don't, days I don't, I don't do that. I don't have days I can miss. I don't have any PTO. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw, but IMDb had to start removing um, reviews on Godzilla vs. Kong. <laughs> because these stupid jerks who apparently love the Snyderverse started review bombing. Godzilla vs. Kong. With hashtag Restore the Snyderverse. Uh, What's that and, doing and Godzilla? Le- I, because they don't want the Monsterverse, they want the Snyderverse. Um, they, so they started review bombing it. One star, one star, and just the only comment they would put was Restore the Snyderverse. Yeah, that is review bomb. 
Now, sometimes I don't like that term review bomb because uh, some people put out a shitty movie. Yeah. Some people are like, this movie sucks. Like, I just review bombing it. Well, it's like the, but, the Captain Marvel stuff. Yeah. Like, people are like, oh, they're just review bombing it. Yeah. I was like, but no, they're the movie's not. not they're good. just saying it sucks. Yeah. Um, but no, people on this one, they weren't even coming. They, they were just like, oh, restore the Snyderverse. And now anything you go on. Like, they can on, do both. Like, you go on, like, Facebook. Um, and people are like, anytime somebody posts about Godzilla vs. Kong, there's a bunch of hashtag restore the Snyderverse. And like, I, did you guys watch? I haven't it? watched it yet. I, I almost watched it the other it's day. It's not that different. Not really. It's, it's different. And I, I like it more. It's not that different. Yeah. Like, Here's it, the thing though. Um, you could have made that, it's a four hour movie. You could have made it two hours. Yeah. Just saying. Uh, here's the thing. Like they already put out an attempt and failed. Like, Kong and Godzilla, they did it right they the first failed. time. Yeah. Yeah. We just watched all of them, except for the, this Kong and Godzilla. And they're amazing. They're all amazing. You can wait two more days. Yeah. Two That's more days. so long. <laughs> what time are we watching it? Like, noon? That'll be a little bit later. Damn it. Because I gotta take, I gotta take my grandma out for Easter. Eight in the morning. How about that? I'm cool with that. <laughs> I'm not cool with that. Cool I have all that. weekend. I'm working all weekend. Do you have HBO Max? Yeah. Better watch it. Watch what? I'm I'm hanging out. I have some burgers. Anyway, anyway. peckerheads, these (laughs) monkey face dildos are. Can you say that? I can. I just did. No, no, cuss word. Yeah, it's not cuss word. It's an object. Um, But anyway, they review bombing Godzilla vs. Kong with Restore the Spider Verse. And now everybody knows why everybody hates DC. Yeah. Because all these nerds are just, you restored the Snyderverse. Like, nobody cares. You got your four hour movie and it sucks, okay? It's just <laughs> the same. It's, it's the same movie with two hours of extra crap. And I, and I, that's saying me, I like the Snyder version way better than the original version because the original version, I barely even watched it. Yeah. So I almost fell asleep during the freaking thing. Yeah. But no, I do like what they did with the new Justice League. Basically, just because they're doing the Congress doesn't mean that they're going to cancel awesome. the Snyderverse. Yeah, no. It's not even related. Yeah. It's because not, it's two just completely because, different yeah, franchises. Just because it's on the same... Two completely different people working on it. But people also think that that's why they pushed um, Mortal Kombat back. <clears throat> Another thing you gotta, yeah, you gotta realize, either. though... Yeah. Some I mean, of these, that's some that's of these people that played, matter. like, huge parts have already said they're not coming back. Like, they're yeah. done with it. Yeah. No, it's just... And I don't understand that. Because, like, this movie, once again, like you said, not related at all. Yeah. Um, And it's a... Probably a fantastic movie that has nothing to do with the Snyder verse. It doesn't impact it at all. Yeah, like it's not like oh, we can't do the Snyder verse. Godzilla versus Kong came. Out. Yeah, like like I, we were gonna do more Snyder verse, but, but Godzilla we gotta work Kong. Godzilla versus Kong. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, no, but yeah, I um, I mean, I like it and. Have you watched the Snyder Cut yet, Jake? Mm-mm. I was gonna watch it last night. Like I said, have, you, have you guys seen the original? Yeah, yeah. Did you like it? Man. Yeah, I mean... Okay, that's all I need to know. You don't even have to... Because I got to the point where I skipped through so much of that movie. Because I was just like, like, what are they... I will say this. What are you talking about? I like Ben Affleck as Batman. It is the better... It's like... It it, it was the better of the, like, the Batman, Superman stuff. Like, it was better than that. I want to see a standalone Batman movie with Affleck. I do too. I would love to see That'd that. That'd be freaking great, but people I, are so shitty on him. People, Batman. people don't like his uh, voice changer, but I like it because it's more hey. practical than him going, I'm Thank you, you and your stupid outfit. My father gave me this outfit. And your dad's dead. Get over your dead parents already. Didn't your parents die? Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't know why people complain about that. If I wore a Batman suit, and I come up to you, and I'm like, I'm Batman. You're like, no, you're not. You're, that's yeah. you. Yeah. You know, you're going to recognize their voice. I don't care how much makeup. and You're going to recognize their voice as soon as they talk. I can wear a ski mask. Like, anyone can wear like, a ski mask and walk up and be like, hey, I'm Batman. But like, no, you're not. You're Sid, you dick. <laughs> Why'd you have to put Wait, that in? Yeah. Do, <laughs> we do not mess, Sid. <laughs> I'm Batman, guys. <laughs> Hey, I'm Batman. <laughs> Wait, so I gotta leave my room and do it. Hey, I'm Batman. <laughs> That's pretty good. 
Oh. Yeah, I think I think and I do I do think the voice changer is more effective it's than more him going. Practical. I, I do like that too. I don't mind. I, I didn't mind it. I didn't like it. <laughs> Where is he? Yeah, no. That, like, him him scream, you know, imagine him like the next day be like, mm, my throat hurts. Yeah. Why is my voice Why? so weird? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you sound like you've had a cold, Bruce? Like, don't, don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, and if he did that, don't speak to anybody. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. 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 The voice, I can't talk yeah. The voice changer is definitely more practical. Yeah. I want to see it, because that's a very more, that's a much more violent Batman. Why, why did, that's like a dark. Did you guys, did you guys just get three I made brownies from Pierre? Oh, I may have. Uh, he may have made some brownies. No, not yet. It's probably coming through, <laughs> but no, yeah, I get. I, I want to see a full fledged movie. Yeah, I, I want to see There's that dark sided Batman where he oh. actually like kills people because the brownies when he's dark and jaded and <laughs> older, you know, he's, he doesn't have that idea. <laughs> the brownies, <laughs> like, I could care less about Robert Pattinson's Batman. Yeah, I don't care for that. Hear me, brown ease, the brown ease guys, <laughs> um, the brown ease, but. Because I could, it was cool the the violence in the trailer. Yeah. Where he's like, "Where are you supposed to be?" He's like, oh. Yeah. But that's cool. But I also think that Ben Affleck's Batman would do the same thing. I think he would. I think people already gave him a bad rap because it's Ben Affleck. Yeah. Which I don't really understand the hate for Ben Affleck. I do understand where it came from. It stems from back when he was dating Jennifer Lopez. It's because of it Ben was Affleck, Bradlow, <laughs> or. They were, the, they were the first like super celebrity couple, it's, it's and people got tired of hearing it's because it's about the Brad, the 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 Ben Lowe crap. But I, I was never had a really big problem with Ben Affleck. I, I always know. liked his work. I don't hate Ben Affleck. Yeah, but yeah. these people heard Ben Affleck, Batman, like, oh no, 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 no. no, no. no. That's what they said. I'm not not that they're comparable because I'm not watching. That. That's what they said about the Keith Ledger Joker. Well, Heath Ledger. The Brokeback Cowboy guy playing the Joker? No way. A Knight's Tale? Yeah. I mean, you think about it. Come on. He played played the Joker. He played the gay cowboy and then went around and played the best Joker, probably one of the best Jokers we've (laughs) ever had. Yeah. That's how good he was. Yeah. Straight as an arrow. They, they, so the the Justice League came out, Snyderverse, Snyder Cut, Snyder, whatever. Uh, They, for some reason, and, and, for some reason, they were like, hey, instead of doing a good two-hour movie, let's just add all the Snyder crap to the other movie. Yeah. Like, what? Like, no, just yeah. cut the stuff that's not needed. No, no, no. We need a four-hour movie. It took me two <laughs> that's days. That's the only reason I haven't really it watched it It took me two days to watch this stinking thing. <laughs> and I was like, they, it could have been a two-hour movie. Yeah. It could have been a two-hour movie. I'm not going to say it's as bad as the original because it's not. It's better. Yeah. Much better. But... Um, there's an I think it's an after credit scene, a nightmare scene or whatever they call it. Yeah. Um, and it's got the Jared Leto Joker in it. No, <laughs> I hate Jared Leto's Joker. Oh really? I hate it. I didn't even watch Suicide Squad. I watched Suicide Squad, and I hear it's terrible. I didn't want. I watched like five minutes of it. And I turn it off because Will Smith is insufferable in that movie in the first five minutes. <laughs> But I cannot do Jared Leto Joker. Joker, he sounds like a seagull when he laughs. <laughs> like, imagine someone doing a seagull. Dude, yeah. speaking of seagull, I was, scrolling, I was scrolling through TikTok the other day, and there's a girl that actually sounds like a seagull. Yeah, and it sounds like Jared Leto Joker. Jared Leto is not, to me, a good actor. I don't I don't, I don't, I don't have seen like him enough Lito. stuff to know. Uh, I don't like that. No, I, I think... Favorite movie with him in it, though, is it's got to be... <laughs> I think though, Fight Club. The, that version yeah. of Joker was it about felt like five years something too late. Beautiful. Well, did you see what they did in the Snyder cut? No tattoos. Oh, really? He doesn't have the tattoos, and his makeup is way different. It looks like he's just taken red paint, and just smeared it over the oh, side okay. of his face, and his eyes are real dark. He's got real long hair. He looks like Jared Leto with makeup on. Yeah. Um, but his stinking laugh. Makes you want to punch myself in the back. I'm like, what are you doing? Why like, do you sound like a freaking seagull? If his if his version of emo Joker would have come out like five years ago, five years earlier, when the emo scene was huge, I think people would have liked it better. Wait, 
But emo was already kind of over with. And then he's like, hey, I'm going to make Joker emo. I'm going to play this. And here, here, let me let me do it on here. As I say, you got to you gotta tell me if it's Jared Leto as the Joker laughing or if it's a seagull making a noise. <laughs> Ready? Let me do it on here. That way it doesn't uh, sound right distorted. Right there you go. You see it? You know what I mean? It looks, uh, it looks, it looks better. This one? Yes. Yeah, it's not natural. Like, he's forcing the laugh. Like, Jack Nicholson and... Uh, Heath Ledger? Heath Ledger. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Heath Ledger, and even... The old one? Yeah, even the old There, there were natural laughs that sounded like the Did Joker. you watch... <laughs> the Joker movie? Yeah, yeah. Like, that, to me, that's the best live-action Joker laugh. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joaquin Phoenix murdered that laugh. Yeah. Like it was disturbing. Yeah. Like how he would just laugh and just like yeah, at. uncontrollably. Like yes, he Ledger had a good one too because it was maniacal almost. Yeah. But the fact that how off kilter. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix was yeah like and you know like you know like he didn't really mean it like his laugh was a nervous tick yeah and yeah no just exactly. a laugh that was that was a cool take on it Let's see if I can find this noise <laughs> <laughs> that's so bad <laughs> seagull. <laughs> that's terrible. But yes, um, Godzilla be gone. Snyderverse came out, uh, or Snyder Cut came out, Godzilla vs. Kong came out, I want to watch it, these guys won't let me because they're jerks. Um, uh, the people are review bombing Godzilla vs. Kong, which is apparently amazing. Because they're jealous, because it's they're, better. Because they're, they're mad because the Snyder Cut sucks. <laughs> um, and then Mortal Kombat has been pushed back a week now. Thanks to Godzilla. At least Kong. it's only one week. So but now, I'll so give I'll give a pushback a couple weeks. Now I'm gonna go boycott Godzilla versus Kong and say restore the Mortal Kombat verse <laughs> because I know it's their fault. Because yeah. but no, yeah. yeah. So movie news. That's all that is. Snyder Cut came out. It's to me it was better, but not good enough to justify a four hour movie. Uh, Godzilla vs. Kong haven't seen it yet. Uh, want to really bad to the point of throwing up. And Mortal Kombat has been delayed a week, and I'm very upset about it. On to you there. <sighs> One week's okay. Uh, I can deal with a week. It's not okay. Could have had it a week earlier. Look, I want to get over here. Come back a week earlier. It'd be, it'd be all right. It's just one week. So, first of the month. First of the month. Is first today. Month. April Fool's Day. So we're getting we're getting three. <laughs> three free games of PlayStation Plus this month. Oh, yeah. So we got Days Gone. Oh, nice. How about I, I, I hear play so that? many mixed reviews I about that too. game. Some people ask like, like, oh, the book. I hear it's terrible. I heard it's I, terrible. Like, I heard it's slept test? on. Yeah. So, so that's cool. Since it's free, free I may try it out. Yeah, I was going to say it's free. <laughs> Might play it. So that's what I love about that. I know people complain. I thought when, Last week, we talked about the, uh, the PlayStation Play at Home games. And people are complaining because they're all indie games. That's what I want because I'm not going to buy those games because I, I don't have money to waste on games that I don't know I'm going to love. On the same note, people are apparently boycotting Xbox's games for gold. Why? See, that's because so they're terrible. Because are they that bad this these, time? Well, I don't know if they're terrible. People are saying that they're awful. Like, they're the games nobody's heard of. I'm well, like, see, that's the, that's the point. That's what you, that's what, yeah. You, so you play these games. That's, that's, what, that's when, uh, like farming simulator and something else came out. I think the, people were so pissed. 
The game we is need... called, it's like a, a, a Viking game. I've heard of that which one. Which apparently that game's awesome. Yeah. People are like, oh, yeah, that game's good, but the other game sucks. Dark Void was okay. Yeah, and I'm like, wait a month. You'll get a new batch of games next yeah. month. Just wait. Or just get Game Pass. You got a million. Truck games. Racing? Like, that sounds freaking sure. amazing. But I Race a freaking 18 like. wheeler? I like these. Actually, that's, if that's what I'm thinking about. That was an awful game, but it's fun to play because it's so bad. Truck Racing? But I still want to play it. But Truck Racing remember. Championship is all it's called. May not be the one I'm thinking about. That actually sounds pretty good. I know cool. what you're talking about. Yeah. The all crazy, wacky game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You literally drive through the mountains yeah. and the buildings. Yes. And yes. You literally, you literally you have the road there, but you can literally drive in a straight line like, from screw the that road, yeah. and not even have to you go through buildings, you can go through mountains. Yeah. And still win? Yeah. And still win because you don't have to turn. You just go drive in a straight line. That's crazy. Yeah. So we're getting Days Gone, uh, Zombie Army 4 Dead War, which I don't know anything I don't about. No idea. Uh, so you can expand on the Nazi zombie style that we've done other franchises, you know, keeping signature sniper zombie. elite, uh, oh, long range gunplay intact. Good. Put them down for you, cut us. Why Drew have scissors? Because they're in the drawer over Why here. Why are they close enough to Drew? <sighs> because I keep forgetting to take them away. At least there's no lighters near him. <laughs> I'll put it over here either. Days gone. You're all right. Stop He's the worst out of the three of us. Uh, you get days, days gone on both systems, PS4 and PS5, Zombie Army 4, Dead War, I don't know. also on both systems, and then you get Odd World Soulstorm. That's cool. But you only get them on, on the PS5. Uh, I can't download any more PlayStation games. Why? <laughs> because I haven't even touched Final Fantasy yet. <laughs> I, I'm going to well, stream. Make sure, make sure you support. get them on your console, like put them in your, li- in your library, in library. Yeah. and then download them later. Well, and, and I plan on streaming, streaming, because I'm, I want to get that microphone. Oh, yeah. So I think I'm going to get that microphone, and then I'm going to end up. I think I'm about to start streaming. This is the weekend's over. I'm going to start streaming again. So, yeah. But, um. Yeah, that's cool. Oddworld, man, I really want to play that game. Well, I get too. a PS5, Drew. I know. Good luck. I mean, you, you did get your. It's gone. Cool did you though. get your Stimmy? Yeah, I did. Oh, well, there you go. I could, but. Go find your I got to hold on to that until I get <laughs> this job. Well, and then I, I got another one that's kind of funny. Okay. Do you have anything else? Okay, so you remember all the stuff that happened in the Suez Canal? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> is making a, a Suez Canal oh, simulator. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be available on, st- it, on Steam still, soon. It's still stuck. No, I think they got it out, didn't they? they no, they got no, it out. They did. Yeah. Oh, did they? they got it out. I thought they, they, they were making them unload the stuff on there because it's still stuck. They're finally making them unload the cases on top because they still can't get it out. Yeah, they got it. That's I heard. Egypt wants a billion dollars after the ship blocked the canal. It's Man. They're the ones that got them out, dude. I think every... What the hell's going on here? I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> so, it's, so to, is the point of the Suez Canal simulator to get stuck, or is it the point to try to make you through without getting stuck? Uh, I think the point is to make it through without getting stuck. <laughs> apparently, the the people I just read, um, apparently a lot of companies are trying to sue that company now. I bet. Yeah. How many millions and wow. millions, billions probably that they lost not being able? I mean, at some point though. That thing was stuck for over a week. Yeah. At some point, wouldn't it just be cheaper to go around Spain? Generally, around, yeah. Around, around, not Spain, but Egypt. around, yeah. Eight, Africa. Something. Now, the Suez Canal Simulator will allow you to reenact the, <laughs> the container <laughs> ship's journey through the canal. Whether you want to pull an ever given <laughs> or prove how easy it is to traverse the property. <laughs> through a, a mostly straight line. That's I wonder funny. if there's like owner, if any of those like made you drunk well, while you're doing it, so you have to do funny. it. What do you mean? What happened? The Suez Canal thing? You didn't hear about the Suez Canal? That's what we talked about last week. A big giant what? liner uh, uh, there was got a, stuck in the there Suez was a cargo canal. ship. Got truck. Got stuck. Got stuck. Got stuck in the Suez Canal in Egypt and blocked the thing for like and blocked world trade for like of a week. 
I think at one point it was something like it was over 150. 200 ships yeah. stuck waiting just because this idiot couldn't drive. It's the main thoroughfare between Asia and Europe. Yeah. It's the main thoroughfare between Asia and Europe. And some dude drew a giant penis in the Mediterranean yeah. and then went that- barreling up through the Suez Canal and got it stuck, wedged in blocking it from being passable for over a week. You know when... So um, literally has billions of dollars it, worth of... It probably doesn't dollars. happen to us very often because of the snow and stuff, but you know the, the feeling when you're driving in the snow or the ice and your vehicle starts to slide? Yeah. You think that's what he was doing? Like, oh, shit, 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 yeah. shit, 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 Maybe. shit, shit, Because you can see the way he's facing. And it's like, um... Yeah. <laughs> crap. Yeah. I think that's what that may have been. Like, he just kind of over... Like, he's going and he's trying to overcorrect. Like, oh, like, it's no, 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 And then instead of just going, boop, he goes, what? <laughs> oh damn! Oh, here it is. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Can you show that on the thing? This is in the canal. <laughs> Not my money. No. Anyway. Now, luckily, it happened over there. It so evidently, the wind pushed it into, or almost into the wall. Hey, and they overcorrected. Yeah, it was like, oh, is it? Oh, damn. oh. Damn. oh. Oh my God. Why not just slow it down a little bit there, buds? He's going 13 knots. How fast is 13 knots? Can't remember. And overcorrect right now. <laughs> I'm fired. <laughs> oh, That's when you crap. just like leave. You just leave the ship and be like, see y'all later. <laughs> he call in. Hey, I quit. Like, why? You'll, you'll find out in a minute. <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> But I want to see the route he took before. 13 knots is how fast? 15 miles an hour. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> and maybe that's faster than a ship. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it's kind of fast on water. You think about yeah. it. Yeah. I, I, you can't just stop in water, right? No. No. Especially not something that big. But you can slow down a little bit. Yeah. They need to, they need to put a, a speed limit in there. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> or just like, hey, let's not get... Idiots driving. Let's, I mean, let's not yeah. let idiots I mean, drive. Yeah, you drive boats. <laughs> what do you call that? You, uh, Sail them? No. You know, you, Pilot? Captain? Steer? I am the steer captain boats? now. I guess you just steer boats. The Suez Canal Simulator. That's funny. I'm going to have to get that. That'd be fun. <laughs> get stuck at the point. Try to get lodged. <laughs> 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 Well, boys, I've done it. I wonder if you can do the, uh, the draw the giant penis. That's gonna be oh, before you go in? Yeah. It's going to be an achievement. <laughs> okay. My turn. All right, we have some Star Wars update. Ah, oh, Star Wars. <laughs> Nothing but Star Wars. Give me the Star Wars. Don't let them in. So we've got a few, couple of stuff the Some bad and some good. So we'll start with the bad first. Or what's probably going to be bad. So there's a rumor that a timeline reboot for Star Wars is coming to Disney Plus. There's a leaker, not identified, that I'm and I'm paraphrasing. He said he's going to be telling uh has been telling him an upcoming reboot in the cinematic universe, which allows Disney to explore new events and timelines in upcoming Star Wars TV shows. Now, that's kind of bad news on its own, because I don't... The current team at Lucasfilm, with the exception of Filoni and Favreau, are doo-doo. not good at coming up with new ideas. They're doo-doo. So I don't want them to tell you how that's bad. But that's not the worst case. The worst thing is, apparently, they're going to cast Brie Larson... Oh. As a Jedi who will become more powerful than Anakin and Rey combined. Stop it now. It's just not fair. So let's just quit it. That's a bad idea. Okay, that is the bad idea because when you are when you create something and you can't come up with creative ways to make it interesting, what you do is you make it overpowered because that in and of itself makes it supposed to make it good. It makes it better. It's cool because it's so overpowered. And this is the most powerful thing ever. I don't know. I guess they didn't learn the lesson from the sequel trilogy of just 
putting powers in somebody that doesn't yeah. that didn't earn it, didn't deserve it. Uh, so yeah, we can't come up with something interesting, so we'll just make it super powerful. Like the Rock, like the Rock comes to mind. You read that? Yeah. Uh, That's why I'm confused. So I don't, like, I don't know why they hired her because she's extreme. Oh, I do know why they hired her, but she's extremely toxic. She completely railroaded Captain Marvel before it was even released yeah. because she can't stay off of Twitter. Uh, the well, wait, reason, wait, 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 wait. She's the strongest out of them all, though. Yeah, that's well, that's the problem. <laughs> like, like, such bullshit. They, I mean, the, I mean, granted, Captain Marvel did make money, but it made money because they wedged it in between Infinity War and Endgame. So people thought they had to watch it in order to complete the MCU universe that was coming to an end. After the third trilogy, who knows? It's this is where the TV series. So apparently, I think they're gonna redo. I don't know if they're. I don't know. I don't know what their plans are for it. But yeah, so yeah, apparently they didn't learn their lesson from that. Uh, because even Captain Marvel, like I've I've watched a little bit of it, and I just can't get super interested in it because it's just not that good. I mean, it's not horrible. But there's nothing really. She's already super powerful, so there's she just doesn't have to really overcome anything other than amnesia, and that's <laughs> uh, that's like a that's it. Yeah, and that's kind of a really been done trope for oh amnesia. I don't remember anything. I gotta get my memory back. So, yeah. So the character is named Maeve. M a e v e. So I guess it's Maeve. Uh, and it will be that'll be her name. She's set to go on a journey to find an ancient force power that is stronger than the light and the dark side of the force. Maeve is set to discover and obtain and learn about it in the new show. So yeah, they 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 don't learn their lessons and they're just rehashing the same formula that doesn't work. That's the problem with Ray. Uh, Ray, they made her super powerful. And she didn't really have, she didn't really earn any of it. Like, literally, in The Force Awakens, she goes from not knowing about The Force, not knowing anybody that has ever participated, not knowing the Jedi's, only reading about them as myths, Mm -hmm. to literally, like, two hours later. This is where the term not that bad comes in. You're right. Yeah. Uh, To two hours later, being able to mind control people. And it it just, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. I mean, you have... You have Vader, who was super powerful, but he already had, he had Sidious, which was more powerful. And Sidious was super powerful, but he's really what made him powerful is, is control of the Senate and the fact that he was powerful in his scheming, even more so than he was in his actual power. I mean, he was super powerful in the Force, but his scheming and his cleverness is what really kind of gave him the edge. Uh, the and you have story. Luke, who uh, got his freaking arm chopped off, you know, and had to. Like everybody's had to overcome something, except for like, boop, boop, yeah. Boop, boop. Like, okay, look, I, I feel like I can do this, so I'm gonna do it. You know, Vader had no legs and no arms. Yeah, he had one arm. Yeah, Vader's literally had to like he, like his suit. They could have made his suit more comfortable, like in the lore, but he doesn't want it to be more. He wants to be uncomfortable. He wants to. It hurts. Like his suit hurts him to wear, and he does that on purpose so he keeps his. Anger strong in the dark side. It makes him more powerful. So he's literally coming overcoming adversity every single second was, that he wears that. I was reading something talking about how Vader's whole essence is. No, this is pretty long. Yeah, read it. Yeah, I read it. About like how like I I don't remember what movie they're talking about, but like Vader's in the dark, and then you just see his lightsaber. You have to think his suit is lit up. So he had to have cut the lights on his own suit, which essentially keep him alive just for the dramatic effect of his saber lighting yeah, it up. And, and, and then they cool. went off about all this stuff about what he does just basically to have a dramatic effect about stuff. Oh, yeah. And they're like, why is he so <laughs> enamored awesome. about that? Hey, yeah, welcome back, up, <clears throat> Yeah, and she, I mean, yeah, that's true. She was Palpatine's niece, but Luke was Anakin's son, but Luke still had to learn how to use the Force. Yeah, it wasn't just like, He oh, didn't just, yeah. Powers. Like, even when he saw Ben use mind control, he couldn't do it. He had to actually really study under, yeah. 
under Yoda. Oh, well, he stood under Ben for a while, for yeah. a little bit, and then and literally then abandoned on a, a jungle planet with nothing but Yoda to train. Yeah. And Yoda was super confused. So he, yeah, he it's had not to, like Yoda was like, do this. Yoda speaks backwards. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. Yeah, so he's like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, you must uh, do this, you must. They're like, what are you talking about? Who that? He's one of our followers. This ain't it. So, yeah, so... I don't know. I don't like the fact... I don't, I don't like the fact that they're just making this super powerful. You know this is coming from the Kennedy side of the film. It's gotta be. So, yeah, because they're the ones who do that kind of stuff. Like we'll put some of the, we'll just make them super power, super powerful. <laughs> make them super powerful, yeah. You know. Who's an ass? I'm not an ass. <laughs> and then, and then that'll just be their their interesting point is that they're super powerful. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's not good enough for yeah. me. So there's already a lot of red flags going into well, this th- production. That's my thing. Any 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 thing that you want to watch, any kind of entertainment, you don't want to just be like, here's this character. They're super powerful. Yeah, like that's their that's their quirk. That's their, their reasoning. Yeah, like how like what like I don't okay. They're cool. They're super powerful, but yeah. why? So that's that's kind of why they have to do why to do I do feel that? like what bad I bad storytelling. Bad how storytelling. I feel about Superman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you going to bed? That's why a lot of people don't like Superman because fall asleep. Just like Goldberg. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's why a lot of people don't like Superman because Superman is, which I don't like, really have a problem that much. But yeah, like super feet. overpowered. Yeah, basically like a god. Yeah, basically. That's one thing about the like the Snyder cut. Oh really? Yeah, Superman is just completely. Yeah. yeah, it's like what level does he like? I like uh, early on, like he had to suffer. He had to like he had losing his dad and his family, stuff, his family his species. But yeah. once he's yeah, he just like what's well, past that? Like, I have every what, power ever yeah. known to man imaginable. Yeah, I could fly, I could literally I could move wrong. planets just, around. Hey. Nah, nah, nah. But so okay. yeah, so that's a problem, and that's another problem too. Is once you make them, yeah, so there's going to gonna be bad guys. Where do you go from there? Yeah, it's like, like they're super powerful. Like, yeah. yeah. Nobody can be them. What oh, else? Whatever. Yeah, what do you what do you do then? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Know. I'm already. Kind of, yeah, I'm not leery about it, and the fact that you're bringing in Brie Larson, who, uh, no, nah, not you most yet. I really, I don't even care about. No uh, offense about a boot, the Snyder cut. Yeah, yeah, but no, I think that thing is. I, I don't care who it is. Yeah, you could bring in somebody who everybody loves, but I think if you overpower them immediately, yeah, it's like, hey, new character, they're super powerful. Nothing can beat him. Like, yeah. But see, my problem, my, my problem with bringing Brie in, it's just going to do the same thing she did with Marvel. People are being, people are going to question and be like, I don't so get how these customers are. You just don't like him yeah, because you're a man. You're a stupid nerd Star Wars fan. You don't like it. And despite the fact that people's questions are legitimate questions. Yeah. 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 We were talking about the Snyder Cut a while ago. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't. It's just bad storytelling. I think yeah. it's bad. That's cool making them one powerful. That's cool making them super powerful. Yeah. But I want to see. I want to see the struggle. Yeah, I want to see, see the struggle to do that. Got them there. Yeah. I want to see how yeah. they become that. And so uh, I got a couple good news though. Uh, uh, so we want to start off with the bad news. Good news. Bad best trailer. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Okay, it's gonna be there. I mean, here's the gun. So the good news is that they're, they're re-released. So back in 2005, they released the Star Wars Republic Commando game for Xbox and PC. And so it's, now it is getting a, a re-release uh, later on this year, or actually this month even. Star Wars Commando, which was released on Xbox and PC, is getting a limited run physical release on the PS4 and a limited Nintendo Switch on digital. I know, dude. Mortal Kombat. It's going to be lit. So, yeah. Uh, Star Wars Republic Commando was awesome. Uh, apparently, it's a really good game. Uh, as a first-person shooter, it follows Delta Squad, which follows Master Halsey. Ha- 
and Padawan Knox. Uh, it was really well received when it came out. It had good ca- tactical gameplay. It had the campaign was supposed to be really fun, and the multiplayer was supposed to be really good. So the game was super well really uh, 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 revered when it came out. Uh, so the game will be pre-ordered for April 16th and will be available for a four-week window. You get the regular version, or you can get the collector's edition, which comes with art cards, a reversible poster, and a steel book that has a really cool pack for $89.99. That's actually for collectors, though. Yeah. That's not too bad, because most of them are like 120 bucks. Yeah. But there's also a game, and I don't think they're redoing it. I don't think they're fixing it's just, it. It's just the... Straight release, yeah. whatever. And it, it, that's just going to be it. And after that, I guess that's it. Uh, but the original release uh, reached 2.5 million copies sold uh, with, within its five-year run, which is not bad. No. So a new Star Wars Republic Commando is going to be released for a limited time. Like I said, physical copy on PS4, digital on Nintendo Switch. And then that's going to be it. Yeah. Well, come back. It's going to be sweet. And so that's that for that one. And for the best news of all is a new trailer dropped for Bad Batch. I saw that. And it is freaking awesome. I saw it and was like, I don't want to watch Dude. this because I still haven't watched the other thing. Yeah, you do need to watch the other thing. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking <sighs> about, Clone Wars. The Bad Batch comes from Star Wars Clone Wars, the animated series. And it is... Amazing, the and the Bad Batch uh, appeared in episode uh, season seven, and they only were in there for a couple episodes. But they created people like love them and wanted them to like, hey, come check us out. People like, hey, we, we want to see more of these guys because they're awesome. Uh, so all the bad news that's been coming out of Lucasfilm. This is actually what Bad Batch. Good news. It's the bad batch. they are a. So the the Bad Batch is is so you watched uh, the prequel trilogy, the Bad Batch. So the clones that come out are clones from Jango Fett, and they're basically super soldiers. They 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 age faster, so they can grow up and have soldiers ready already ready. But they're basically badasses. But uh, you have you have even more badasses like Rex and Cody that are awesome. Well, the Bad Batch, so, you know, sometimes when you make copy over and over again, sometimes something happens. Sometimes an anomaly happens, and the Batch doesn't come out so well. Now, sometimes it can be pretty severe. Like, there's, on um, if you watch the Clone Wars, there's a uh, old person called 99. Oh, the humpback guy. Yeah, he's a humpback. He's kind of old. He came out deformed. And sometimes they actually just destroy the Batch. If they came out bad, uh, but and other times they use them in servitude or like maintenance or they they use them for around Camino. You know, they're they're not combat ready. Well, the Bad Batch came out because literally they're the they're a bad batch of clones. They came out weird, some were missing limbs and stuff like that. But they were able to prove themselves and become a unit, and so they're sent and. They are, they're used a lot for, like, guerrilla warfare and used in, like, extremely dangerous when they don't want to send the clones in. Like Suicide Squad. Yeah, kind of like Suicide Squad. They kind of like, if you want to put this to a realistic, they're almost kind of like like a Socrates story. Because Socrates, you know, they they wanted to kill him, but they couldn't kill him. So they sent him to the military. Like the bad Rick and Morty clones? Yeah. Essentially, yes. Oscar, yeah, pretty much. Fucking dink. So they send Socrates to the military, and they put him in like a really dangerous areas, and hoping that he would just get killed. Like yeah. he'll, he'll get killed there, and we don't have to worry about it. But not only did he not get killed, but he saved a lot of lives, yeah. and was revered by his uh, combat by his soldiers for his excellent, weirdly crazy. Uh... Sorry, I farted. I farted. <laughs> <laughs> By his, like, really crazy, like, agility and uh, the fact that he was uh, super brave under combat and he became a war hero. That's kind of like the Bad Batch. They do the same thing. They they, they keep putting him in these terrible situations and they keep coming out. 
they keep winning or they keep making that alive. And so they have this, they're, they're pretty awesome. They, they, they're they not the the typical soldiers. You know, they come up with interesting ways. Oh, Rick, not again. Yeah. Shut up, Marty. So yeah, the dude, if you haven't, you need to watch, if you haven't watched The Clone Wars, you need to watch them. You need to find, you can find on, I think it's on Disney. On find the, the right order because they're not really in the correct order. If you find the right order, uh, I think that's what throws me it. off of watching. That is, it's kind of a pain in the ass. ass. It is, it is. To get each the one, the first of few seasons are out of order, so you have to look on to see when to watch what. What, and then as, as it progresses, it starts getting a little bit more. Why wouldn't they just put it all together? That's just the the way they shot it at the time. Baloney. And, uh, but the show is amazing. The dude, it's uh, I, I can't believe how good that show is. And so season seven was a big deal because they made six, actually they made five seasons and a few years later, they put out season six, which is awesome. And then, and then like, was it two years ago? It was last year, two years, two years ago, I think in 19, they put out season seven, which was amazing. No, I think it was last year. Was it last year? It may have been last year, early last year. They put out season seven, uh, which they weren't sure that was going to do. And it's really awesome. It is, it coincides uh, between episode three and episode four. Actually, no, no, episode two and episode three. Final episode date was May fourth, twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Okay, so it was last year. So yeah, so the Clone Wars takes place between episode two and three, and the ending of Clone Wars actually takes place during the third movie, season seven. Does the ending of season seven? So it's cool because you get to see it from yeah Star Wars Clone Wars. Oh, that's you. <laughs> uh, yeah, Star Wars Clone Wars. It made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and Drew's like, yeah, Clone Wars. Yeah. It uh. Uh. So yeah, and then the end of season seven actually takes place during uh episode three, and it's kind of it's cool because it shows the clone side of things, and it shows why they follow orders, and it shows. Them, and it, it just it's just pretty cool. It shows their relationship with the Jedi and stuff. How some of them love them, some of them hate them. You know, it's 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 just a really good show. And the Bad Batch is awesome. And I, I'm so excited that they're coming out with a whole series with the Bad Batch. And it looks like it takes place before Order sixty six, and it shows them coming up through training. And then I think the rest of the series will take place after sixty six to show them trying to deal with it. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait. Uh, so every trailer makes me want to watch it more, and it's going to come out May 4th. So if you haven't watched... Yeah, it's called The Bad Batch. If you haven't watched... Jason Momoa was in a movie called Batch. I watched it. Not that great. No, called, this is way better. Called Bad Batch. Yeah, this is going to be way better, I promise. If you like Star Wars, if you really like Star Wars, and you really... If you like watching The Clone Wars, which you should, because it's awesome. But if you haven't it's not into, like, Wars, anime kind of stuff, though. Stuff. I'm not either. I don't really care a whole lot about anime either. Uh, and it's, but this one, this one's really good. The story arcs on these are awesome. Uh, there's it dives deeper into the lore. So if you really like Star Wars, you want to know more about. <clears throat> they introduce a lot of new characters that are cool, like uh, Ahsoka, which you saw in the Mandalorian. She got introduced in. That's uh... a different show. <laughs> This is, we're talking about an entirely different show. Yeah. That's all I got. New Bad Batch. Oh, bad News. New, probably dumb Star Wars series. Uh, with Brie Larson. And good news. Who knows? Maybe Wars. it won't be that bad. It'll probably be. Oh, yeah. I heard good it. news. Star Wars Republic Commando. And good news. The Bad Batch. That's it. Oh, God. What's anything else? I don't have anything else. I think I am finished. I wonder how. What about the WandaVision? What about it? Did you finish it? It was pretty good. I actually really enjoyed it. I I liked a lot. I liked how it ended. WandaVision? WandaVision. (coughs) And I. I kind of, I do, I am kind of liking 
uh, the cat the. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. You haven't watched the. I watched the, new the first five minutes of the first episode. Of what? Uh, no, Falcon and Falcon Winter Soldier. Me, me and Drew watched watch the first episode. I watched the second episode. Of Jeff said it, it seems like it would probably be better if you just let it pan out and then watch all of them at once. Oh, really? Because he said there's like no suspense to it. Not the first one, one. Yeah, he's like no. I'm trying to remember. What there I was really, the it's literally I, like 100 percent honest. I don't care about this. Show. I don't. Either. I'm not. There's I'm nothing not that involved. takes me like and pulls me into the show. Yeah. No. Like WandaVision, you had the whole aspect of like what the hell's going on. Yeah. This one, it's like it's right. just pretty much. It's literally up. what happened afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Are they gonna make a season two WandaVision? Uh, I'm maybe. sure they will. Because this probably be a little bit popular. It'll be a while, yeah. But I bet they will. I don't think Paul Bettany will make an appearance. You don't think so? Now that we know that it was just a figment for imagination. Well, yeah, but there's the other one now. Did you watch it? Did you finish it? Yeah. The Did white it? White vision? White vision. Not oh. color vision? It's, oh, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. I did see that. <laughs> yeah. the, the white vision, I bet, will become the new vision. Well, yeah, he is. Well, he is. Well, yeah, because he, he, he has his memories, but yeah. not his emotions. Falcon yeah. was kissing a dude in Black Mirror. That's a different show. <laughs> What's that got to do with Falcon? <laughs> Uh, Joker kissed a dude. That guy's probably he's probably kissed a lot of dudes. He's Ledger. Oh no, I was thinking uh, Jared Leto. Oh. That dude's weird. They have like a cult Jared kind Leto? of thing. Jared Leto. So like people pay to go and hang out with him I and forget, the band. I forget. Yeah, I forget. He's in a band sometimes. Jared Leto was. Yeah. Thirty seconds of Mars. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like Joaquin Phoenix is dude. Yeah. And he tossed a guy off the stage once. Well, Joaquin Phoenix is also a psycho. Yeah. That dude is, is nuts. Like, mentally yeah. crazy. And he totally straight up like, picked the guy. Uh, you remember when the he guy walked crazy on the and, stage. like, threw his beard out yeah. real big and wore sunglasses? That's when he, yeah, that's, when, that's the time he threw the guy off the stage. The guy walked on the stage, and, and he literally picked him up and yeeted him right off that stage. <laughs> you just used the word yeeted. Yeet. <laughs> Heath Ledger was... One of the gay cowboys on Brokeback Mountain. Yeah, if you with Jake Gyllenhaal. You don't watch Brokeback Mountain? I've never seen it. I watched it. I've never seen it. My grandmother tried to make me watch it with her once, but that was way back in the day. Whenever I didn't understand anything, it's kind of boring. Yeah, it's very boring. The 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 funnest part about that is no no no. (laughs) was when uh, they were they were having Thanksgiving dinner. And he kept trying to turn the TV off, yeah. and the dad kept going and turning it on. <laughs> and I want to watch it. And they kept both getting up and turning it on and off. Did they almost the win Best Kiss for that movie? I think so. I think so. I Everybody was throwing fit about it. How awesome it was! It's it's not that great. The kiss, yeah. The movie itself. It's alright. Never seen it either. Do you have your phone on the Hispanic, the Espanolas? I you use should. the word "seen" too. I ain't seen it. No, no, I'm saying because it says it's got a tilde over E. Never. Never. But, uh, yeah. Dude, what'd you do to these? <laughs> like, I don't know. I like seeing those, uh, you see a lot of like little Joker posters or memes or, uh, or shirt that like, it, Joker is always on. It says Leno. It's like, not you. My favorite character villain ever. Yeah. Is this the kiss? Yeah. I can't quit you. That was like the line in the movie. Everybody, I can't quit you. It's like it's a passionate kiss. Like it's that's, yeah. That's a I'm that's gonna a, literally that's go a kiss. Into it. Oh, and he did it back. Yeah, it's a, it's a kiss. They that's like, they, that's a kiss. It's not like a. It's a straight up. Like, oh, and they got caught. Yeah, they did get caught. Yeah, that's the whole thing of it. They got caught, and then, and then one of them stops you, you talking really to the other. Watch that movie? Never. You should watch it. It's not. I mean, it's not, not a, a horrible terrible movie. movie. It's just kind of boring. On the, and it's not super boring. It's just, it's not like eh, I fall oh. asleep. It's just a little more on the yeah. slower side. Maybe about a couple of gay cowboys. Yeah. Maybe. Ain't no big deal. It's not. They're not even like gay to begin with, are they? Yeah. yeah no. They're just like, hey, bro, bro. Much. These are weirds. Weirds, these are words. 
Come off a little vibey. Can't say these words, but I'll allow it this time. What is it? You said, I like Westerns. <laughs> or the rape the horses. <laughs> Qualifications. Rape, murder, arson, and rape. You said rape twice. I like rape. <laughs> it was stupid. <laughs> you can't even word it right. <laughs> Where the rape, the horses, and ride off in the women's. Right off on the women's, not two dudes kissing. I mean, it probably happened, you know. <laughs> you're out on the trail. You, All you, your you haul, yeah, one of their fellas. You know, you're missing the you way go, back on. on me. You know. <laughs> miss the tender embrace of another human. Right? I mean, a cow can only do so much. Right? You can only, you can only you can get the love of another loving embrace of another human being. We're both married. I know. We're Not both married. Really. That, that, don't, that don't mean nothing, cowboy. Look. <laughs> That'll get us some views. It ruled a little. Anyways. That's all we got for this week. We'll be back we'll next go. Thursday at 8. With some uh, Thirsty Thursday. This week we did Beer Relent. We got this here. Spindle Tap Brewery, Copper Chopper. It was decent. Tailgater. And we also had some Alaskan Brewing Co. Amber, which was duty in my... In, in my the first one was Leaning Kugels. In my opinion. Uh, I think Sandy you've said it name. different every time you've said it. <laughs> Bears eat beets. Bears beat Battlestar Galactica. And then my second one was Fudd, which is a I tried. passion fruit brewed in tequila barrels. Tequila barrels. In tequila barrels. This is not bad. Anyway, we don't we don't raid often, so I'm gonna throw it over to my friend Abe over at One More Level. Abe, and Abe. His name is Abraham. He's a good dude. Abraham. Just uh, show him some love. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm Cinema Drew. I'm Jelly Hubie. I'm Psycho Sid. We're having gaming. And you should be too. <laughs>